Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. Today I'm going to take apart this TV set. I've never done a step-by-step -step on one of these, but I want to show you what's inside and any dangers you might come into. For this, I'm going to use a Torx set, an Allen wrench, channel lock, some screwdrivers, some wire cutters, nose pliers, and a drill. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is unscrew the bolts, the screws here. Off, just all the screws are out. Just want to take take this right off. Now, there you go. It's the inside of the TV. <clears throat> when you're messing with these TVs, wait a few days because they still hold the charge and I'll show you right now see this plug here this plug holds a charge and you'd have to put a screwdriver and a wire to ground it I'm not going to show you how to do this but um, if you don't wait and you decide to uh, unplug one of these or dismantle this cord here when the TV's just been on you are going to get a shock okay it does not feel good and if you have a weak heart it can kill you or give you a heart attack so this is it here I'm going to show you some other things now. What we're going to do is we're going to dismantle this piece here. Don't break this. Leave this whole tube as it is. And I'll show you right now how to dismantle it. Just fidget it out like this. And they usually come right out. And if you're doing something like this, please wear gloves and a mask if you're working indoors because of the, the dust that comes out of here. You don't really want this on you. So, if you're going to cut this, please always use one hand and don't touch the TV when you're using when you're using um, two hands because uh, the current circulates and it, it does not feel, you're not going to feel very well once it's done. Okay, so that's out. So, as you can see here, this little thing, this little bolt right there has a um, an Allen wrench, just like I told you, you're going to need to take out. So, let's take that out now. <clears throat> now, I said earlier, you don't want to take this out because there is a type of gas in here and the tube itself is filled with lead so you really don't want to bust these open although it's just a compressed air there is there could be a type of gas that can come out and get into your lungs and you really don't want that inside you okay this one's unscrewed usually there's two of these two of these little um, contraptions there but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna un unplug this one here that way we can take this TV out really quickly. This tube out with this little connection here. Sometimes I talk too fast and I don't catch what I'm saying. But um, see that? It's gone. Out. That's it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you want to cut these. All right. This is a TV yoke. As you can see inside, it looks bright, but this is number two copper. This one is number one copper. It's, uh, it has a little staining on it, like a shellac staining, but this is a TV yoke. If you look at one of my other videos on scrapping TV yokes, you're going to see me smash this in a towel. This is aluminum up here. This is uh, steel, so you want to scrap everything. Inside here, that's ferrite. That's um, iron. You want to put that with your uh, steel pile. So let's keep going. We're going to dismantle the speakers. Remember I told you before, these speakers are worth some money. Let me get my face out of the way there. Save all your screws. Put that with your scrap. And I showed you in another video how to take these off. These are worth money here, like a dollar a pound. Sometimes these come out real easy. Sometimes they are a pain in the butt to come out. But let me unscrew this one here. And always put your TV on a nice base. That way it doesn't fall. Yeah, this one's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, there might be a release somewhere to take it out. There you go. Okay, so the board is out. This 
this low grade board, just like I showed you in my first video, another low grade board, you want to take all the wiring out. You want to keep this separate. This is called a flyback transformer. There is copper in here. I haven't looked into it yet. I have about maybe 30 of these, maybe more to scrap them. I know some people were telling me they run for about 15, 20 bucks at a scrap yard. Maybe, I don't know yet. But as we're looking at the board itself, you're going to see these little shields. These are aluminum. There's some little pieces of copper. There's a transformer. There's another piece of copper there. And here inside that, let me try to see if I can open this up without taking it all off. There you go. There's copper in there too. See that nice little piece of copper. So you look at this board and familiarize yourself with it. Did I say that correctly? Familiarize yourself with the board and you can scrap the low grade as is. Even if you break the board, doesn't matter, they'll still take it. So let's keep going. Now the last step on this TV is this little wire right here. We're gonna take this part off. Sometimes they're taped, sometimes they're not. Other times they might be screwed on. Now, this is the big money right here. The bigger TV, the bigger the cable. What you want to do is you want to cut it and look inside. That's copper. That's copper inside. You can unwind the tape if you want, or I really don't recommend it, but use a knife and cut through the whole thing, or use a wire stripper. So this is, uh, this might be number two copper in there. I can't really tell without taking the tape off. But, um... That's it from the TV. All you do is put this back down, screw the base back on. That's it. The TV's been secured. Now it's able to go out <clears throat> and uh, take it to your recycling center. Now, I got busted on one of these once. Uh, some guy played a trick on me. He put the TV out and left this board connected to it on the back here where you can see the little plug sticking out. So he left that there. So I'm looking at it like, hey, all right, I got me a TV set. <clears throat> he cut the cord. Oh yeah, this TV, this TV set didn't have a cord. So remember to cut the cord on that one too. He cut the cord, he cut everything. He gutted the thing and left this sticking out. So I grabbed it from his house and I went straight to my house, left it for a week, stripped it. There was nothing in it. I was pissed, all right? But <clears throat> take this to your recycling center Look what, look what they tell you about it. If they tell you that it's not worth money to scrap it, then uh, don't bother because they might charge you 10 bucks for this stuff. If you can find a place that'll do it for free, no problem because you're only going to make one to maybe five dollars on these TV sets depending on how big the TV set is and where you're going for the scrap. So guys, let me know what you think. Scrapwithmike.com. Check out the DVD. This was a requested video. Till then, guys, peace!